So here we go. Here's all the guides in place. And um, we've got eight in total, these little rods, they've all got little threaded bits at the end and you could just adapt them. They also do extra long kits. So if you wanted to do a meter, two meters, 10 meters long, whatever you want to do. Right all, how's it all going? Ryan from the London Craftsman. Today is all about this uh, drill guide. A bit like the Woodpecker's version. I guess this is a copy. This one is from Banggood on an online website. And apparently it's like for like. It's made out of aluminium, seems pretty substantial. I bought the kit that actually has these extension bars. I know you can buy them with and without these bars. So if you are looking to drill a big panel and you're looking to put your guide dead in the center, you can use these bars as guides. They come with stops and the plates, etc. Um, I'm going to be going through that whole kit anyway and showing you what it's all about. I've not used this once, sat in the corner for at least six months. Not really had the chance to start using all my little um, Chinese tools that I've, I, I got quite a while back. Um, here's the drill I'm going to be using. It's a just a standard power drill. Yeah, I mean, I wish I had this kit when it came to machining out all the holes in my workbench because when I built this workbench, the ultimate workbench, I had to drill all these holes and I freestyled it. I didn't have a pillar drill or anything at the time. Let's see what's in the box. Um, this has not been opened yet, so who knows? Got some extension bars. In here we've got a chuck key and it looks like some little grub screws. In here we've got a couple of stoppers and we've got the actual drill itself. Pretty heavy, all aluminium. Sprung. Nice bit of resistance, any play in it? Not really, not much play in between the plates at the top and the bar. Seems nice and smooth on the bearings. Cool. So it's just a normal chuck. I suppose that's to tighten that chuck up for your drill bits. So, so far the build quality looks quite nice. Just um, in keeping with all the Vico stuff that Banggood sell, I guess. And I'm really impressed with all the Vico stuff. If you've seen reviews, the parallel guides also, um, we've got a track saw square. You can see here we've got parallel guides, we've got a track saw square. We use these all the time and the quality of those are outstanding. I'm not just saying that, they really are. We use them all the time. Um, we've got a set here on our three meter track and we also keep a set for our 1.5 meter track. As you can see, we've got a few of these. I mean, we are building a tool wall over there, French cleat tool wall, so there are tons. There's at least 50 or 60 Vico bits and pieces gonna go up there. I am ultimately impressed with the Banggood stuff. I'm not just saying that for the sake of the video. Um, I think their quality and price um, are the things that persuade me really. All aluminium, they're all anodized or powder coated, really well made stuff. Okay, so what I thought was quite strange is the spring doesn't go all the way to the top. So you would have thought the spring would have wanted to keep that up as high as, as, as it can, I suppose, on the bars. But it's quite a bit of a weight here. So by the time I've put this drill bit in, it's touching the bottom. No biggie, I guess. Um, but you've got to be careful not to mark your work if you've got a long drill bit in. I've also tested the place. I'm holding the bottom plate tight down. And I'm trying to wobble it, the actual plate itself. And it is really substantial. Um, because you would have thought that there would be a lot of leverage in that corner, wouldn't you? I mean, you've only got one little joint there and you've got a moving joint there also. Um, but, you know, let's lift it all the way to the top and move it backwards and forwards. It really is nice and tight. Um, and I suppose it's up to you to keep it nice and straight. I mean, you could force it over as you're drilling. You, you, the plate's not massive. But um, yeah, all right, anyway, let's tighten this up. Just a standard chuck. There we go, so they are connected. Like I said, I would have liked to have seen it where you could rest it. 
I suppose the spring would have to be really tough then and it would be hard to drill. But is there any play in it now? Yeah, there is a bit of play in it now. Um, but we have got a cross here. I mean, ultimately, we're not just going to drill blind, are we? Um, this is not like a pillar drill where it's going to be 100% accurate, is it? Let's be honest with ourselves. It's a guide to help you keep that drill straight as you're drilling down. Um, you are going to need a line on your workpiece to start off with. So ultimately, you just need to get that point of the drill bit in line. Push down on the plate, I guess. That seemed pretty good. Pretty impressed with that. Seems like it kept itself square. Didn't go off at all. Gave me a nice crisp hole. I think one thing I would do first though is just get myself an awl and make a point so whether, wherever there's your crosshair, we'll just make a nice sharp point on that for the drill bit to start, just to make sure that when you are lining it up, it's absolutely spot on and you can just see very lightly those white lines on the inside of that oval hole. You can line those up like so and at least you've got a starting point and then that should just plunge down nicely um, onto your workpiece. So I have noticed there is ever so slight wobble in between the rods and the actual plate at the top. Um, it doesn't hold this literally perfectly to the nano millimeter. You will have to use your lines as a guide, maybe just get yourself an awl or a brad or whatever you call them, get your hole started just with a sharp point and line it up before you go. But other than that, I think it will do a fantastic job, like I've just tested there, um, to act as a guide to keep it square, because this is what this is meant to do. It's a guide to keep your drill as square as you can. It's not there as a whole machine to just pre-drill down. Remember, there's a human element involved with this. We're holding the drill and we're holding our workpiece. And, you know, it's only as square as you can hold the drill at the end of the day and plunge it down. So a few cool things about these rods or these guides, they can screw into any of the sides of the base. So any position, back, sides, front. This little stop here can be placed in this way to give yourself extra support. So, you know, you're spreading the load or you can spin it around and use it as an actual stopper. You can also use it round the other way, like so. Stopper here, that is to do your depth stops. And that's quite cool. It's got a little flat or a taper on the bar. So it fits nice and tightly. All of these are nice. Um, brass looking little grub screws with um, texture on them so they grip nice and easily. Um, I did notice that these come off also and flip the work around, the plate around like so. And that allows you to drill bigger bits because obviously this hole is only a certain size and I have read up that you can drill up to two inch bits on this side. So like two inch force in the bits or a hinge cutting bit, whatever you want to do there. Um, I like the fact on the top that I've noticed that it does have the little taper here so you can use quick release bits. So if your drill has got one of these quick release chucks, a bit like my impact drill, obviously not going to be using that. It'll click on nice and easily and quickly using that adapter. So no manual chucks on the plate. Um, I've read up that it's got this little bar also, so you can do round tubes. One other thing about this plate is um, it does slide underneath and it's designed to do so, so you can get a little bit closer to the edge, as you can see. Um, so you can say, you can see that plate slides as far back as you like. One other cool feature, which um, I really do like is it's got these little holes on the top. And if anyone's seen one of those centering tools, um, where you could just pre-drill um, center of any timber, well, most thickness timbers, 
um, by simply just, all you need to do is just insert these little pins. And what that does is when you put your timber in, you literally just position it like so in between and it will perfectly center your timber. Let's show you that the other way. So there's the pins. You put them in place, you put the plate on place and you just turn it until it hits both edges and that will simply center your drill bit nicely on your workpiece. So here we go. Here's all the guides in place. And um, we've got eight in total, all these little rods, they've all got little threaded bits at the end and you could just adapt them. They also do extra long kits. So if you wanted to do a meter, two meters, 10 meters long, whatever you want to do, um, you can just join these up. These are look about 180 mil long, 200 mil long. Um, it obviously came with this plate as one of the stoppers and we've got these two as another set of stoppers. So you've got a complete set there, different styles, but they both do the same thing. These stoppers here, these red parts rest on the work and act as like a little outrigger where they will support your guide a little bit more. And then the silver parts just flip down and act like the stoppers. You can do the same here. You can flip this over. Um, this little part does configure in any way you like and you can make it shorter or longer. I really do like this system. What I will do is set up my stopper so I don't go through into my bench and dry it out. Um, yeah, I think we're good to go. Yeah. I really do like this tool. I think it's um, a well planned out piece of equipment. I know effectively this was designed by woodpeckers, I believe. It's, I mean, it's well thought out. Um, ultimately, I don't think this was developed by Banggood or any Chinese company like that. It was developed by woodpeckers. All right, so let's talk prices. If we're gonna be buying this from woodpeckers themselves here in the UK, obviously it's gonna be a little bit different from you guys in America. Um, you can buy this at $360. Um, as you can see with this configuration, the stops, the eight bars, and the plate here, all in $360, um, which equals £304. You are going to get an import fee and a delivery charge. I'm going to estimate that's going to bump it up to about £400 all in um, if we're going to be shipping it to UK. I have been stung before when I bought my um, super fence, spent about 800 quid, and then I paid about 150 delivery, and then I got 120 pound import charges. So you are gonna be bumping that up at least 100 pounds, I'm saying. I'm thinking if you're going to buy it from the UK, if you are not gonna be buying it from woodpeckers themselves, um, then, and you wanna buy it from Chinese companies such as Banggood, then this is gonna cost you 77 pounds um, no delivery charge, nothing like that. It's going to be coming from China. It will take you a couple of weeks for it to arrive. Um, but £77, all in, nothing else. And I think, um, yeah, I'm not going to do any judgment. I'm not going to tell you what's right or wrong. I have the Banggood version here and I do love it. And I'm not taking away the fact that um, Woodpeckers most likely designed this. Everything in life, everything that you do buy nowadays um, is copies all over the world from cars to phones to shoes to whatever. Yeah, so I'm not saying it's right, but um, the price difference, 77 pounds to probably 400 pounds by the time you've added on your import fees and your delivery charges. So there you go, guys. Hope that helped you. Um, I think it's a fantastic bit of kit. I love it. Um, it's going to stay out the box. Um, one downside, I would say, the negative is there was a slight bit of play, which I did notice, um, in this part here um, between the top plate and the bar. Um, but I'm guessing by the time you have started your hole, remember if you use an awl or something like that, um, or you're not using a massive chunky drill bit, and you do start getting it going, you've got no problem with it moving at that point. It's only at the initial point of not having the drill or anything 
um, attached to the floor by the time, or to the white piece, by the time it is pushed down, that play is gone. So by the time you start drilling, which is what I'm trying to say, you'll be absolutely fine. Um, yeah, I love the fact that it comes with all the stoppers, it comes with all the kit, it comes with the bars, um, it's all aluminium, it looks really well made, it's got the anodized red finish, exactly like woodpeckers. It's only £77 compared to three to £400. And it's going to stay out the box um, and do other bits and pieces. I wish I did have it for the wet bench when I was drilling out these dog holes. But um, you live and learn in this game. Um, hopefully in the future, I will just do a review um, video on how it's sort of like performing over the test of time. But I'm hoping that you've just enjoyed seeing the tool itself and seeing it up close and personal and seeing the bits and pieces that I can do. I probably have missed a ton of bits and pieces that um, other little features that it has done, but that's all I could see in the hour that I've been using it. All right, I'm gonna stop going on. Um, have a great rest of the day, take it easy. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you can. Um, ciao for now.